Let's cut to the chase. People are now asking, is the money being well spent? Huh. At some point, should we just cut ties and give it up? Maybe use the money for swimming, maybe, because we seem to be doing much better there, right? You can't treat individual sport and team sport to be the same thing, right? Um, individual sports, you measure by individual gold medals. You have a Joseph schooling. Whatever funding he gets, yep. he goes at Olympic school. Football is not the same thing, right? Um, I would argue that, to be honest, if you look at the actual money going to football in Singapore, many people don't know this. It's probably the second lowest in all of Southeast Asia. Okay. Right. The, the funding that actually goes into football in Singapore today. But we had to compare it to other sports in Singapore? Yeah, but you can't compare it that way because you're not competing against other sports in Singapore. Yeah, but ni- 94.1 right? million bucks over five years, over the last five financial years, 19, 19.2 million in the last in the last reported uh, annual annual report in 2021. That's a lot of money. But Philip, but that's a but lot Philip of it's money not a lot of money. Philip, no, it's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. Because, it's not a lot of money. Because if I look at what well, what, what the, Thai, the Thai gets and what the Laos gets, right? Laos okay. is like, what, $40 million in funding from the government alone, right? And this is Laos. Laos is a, a country that we should be beating left, right yeah. and centre. And they're getting like, what, four times the money that we are getting, right? Okay. Um, yeah. I, I think, uh, again, if you look at um, the English Premier League, for example, there's a very clear sign that the, the clubs with the most money are usually winning all the trophies and the titles, right? Okay, and, and okay. okay so I, you're saying we're not spending that much money. And what in I'm a saying, way, are we getting what we pay what for? What I'm saying is if, if football really matters and we want our Singapore football to do better, you know, I think there should be more money into the game, not less. Okay. Now, whether that money should come from us as taxpayers, that's a sec- separate conversation altogether. Yeah, yeah. Because what what you know, uh, the football industry and FAS to a certain degree hasn't done very well was to basically bring private funding right. into the in but the your system. stand basically is that more money will help fix this issue I, to a certain extent. I think it needs to start from there. Yeah. Doesn't okay, mean okay. doesn't okay, mean okay, that's okay, a solution. Okay, okay. I, I, I think the Joe Joe public wants more accountability. They 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 want to know how the money is being spent. Why aren't people being hauled over the coals for not producing the results? And and you know they they just want someone to stand up and say look. I didn't do my job properly. I really need to okay. step down, hmm. and and that is that is where Joe Public is coming from right now. Hmm. The fact that they they see the number ninety five point whatever million it, it is over the last five years to them is a lot of money. Hmm. To them is a lot of money. It's taxpayers' money, right? Okay. And and they they want to see some results coming from there. And if the results are not forthcoming, they want to see someone stand up and be accountable for it. Hmm. So okay. that, that let me get the, let's that is, get Bernard's okay response. To so that. two parts to this, right? So. On Philip's part, there is a lot of money. I I I, I second what what uh, Edwin has mentioned. Um, the amount of money that Singapore spends is actually a, a, a fraction of what our uh, competitors in ASEAN yep. spend. Um, the Malaysian league itself spends well over ninety nine hundred million dollars, right? Our league is probably run for fifteen to sixteen million dollars, right? So the the comparison is actually tremendously different. But the Malaysian okay. league is a very yeah. successful league with lots yeah. of people so, turning up to yeah, the match. Philip, yeah, but, but that's the point, right? That's you're point, successful right? because yeah. you have a lot of money, yeah. right? So that's that's the he's making the same point. Right. So so in a but way, on the, accountability, okay. I will say this straight out, right? I have been in this steering role for eight months, mm. and if you ask me. Should people be accountable for the results that happen on the field? Right? I think they should. Yep. Have we held people responsible before? I think we can do better. And certainly after the review that we've currently launched, right, we're going to leave no uh, uh, stones unturned. I tend to believe, and I'm not um, probably projecting what the, the, the report will say, that there may be a culture that is not uh, focused on excellence. It okay. may just be doing activities. I'll give you one example, right? But really, you're saying that about Singapore? We I'll love to be number example. one in everything. Abs- absolutely. <laughs> but I'll give you one example. The fact that our boys are so far behind, Okay. right? So when you send them to our age group tournaments, the, I think that the current notion is let them go and gain experience and not to compete. I think that's wrong. Right. I have raised this many times, but now I have a chance to actually seriously address it. I think that culture of performance and winning and competing needs to be there.